Hi Pisces, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of September. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. We'll take a look at the awareness or the big ideas for the week, uh, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles, we have Strength, the Major Arcana, and we have the Five of Wands. So with the Seven of Pentacles, we see the man here leaning on his garden tool, kind of uh, wistfully looking at the pentacle bush. So there are a couple things to think about with this image, is that sometimes in the uh, the midst of our hard work and our efforts to build something, to grow something, to harvest something, to nurture something, is that we need to take a step back and we need to maybe take a look at what we're doing and think about how we're doing. Are we on track to meet our goal? Are we putting in the right amount of time and energy and focus? Are we losing patience? with the process and saying, man, this is taking forever. Maybe it's not worth it. So taking a step back, you tend to ask these questions of yourself of, you know, what am I doing here? Am I, do I have it in me to keep going? Is it worth it to keep going? Can I improve how I'm tending to my, my career, my relationship, my job, my money? And, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with taking, taking a step back and taking a breather. However, with the seven of pentacles here is that you're so close to fruition. You're so close to your goal that maybe simply a break is needed for you to feel a little more energetic or to come back with greater appreciation for what you've done thus far. By the same token, taking a little time out and thinking things over, you may decide, I'm really not enjoying this anymore, and maybe I'm going to stop. So the point of what we're looking at here is that, yes, it's okay to take, you know, to take a moment to stop working, to stop tending, to stop building, to assess, to think about what's going on. That's really the heart of the matter, which is to you know, think about what you're doing. Is the result and going to be in the, and the reward going to be worth it? At seven of pentacles, you're pretty close. And so, uh, you know, there's always the right time for harvest and sometimes things do require patience, but honestly, in this day and age, patience is becoming more of a rare thing. And so it's, um, it takes a lot of, uh, uh, contemplation, it takes a lot of discipline to be able to have the patience to bring dreams or wishes or to put the work into relationships. It takes a while for things to really develop and to, to be finalized. So with this idea of taking a step back and thinking about what you're doing and what you've been working on, here's the strength card. And in this illustration, the woman is gently, gently handling the lion. And she's doing so with such tenderness and compassion. There's no forcing the issue. There's no trying to uh, be domineering or dominating. We show leadership and we show courage by being more kinder and considerate and sometimes being vulnerable and being open. And with strength, there's always a lovely message here, which is whatever comes your way, the adversity, the obstacles that come your way, that within you, you have what it takes to handle it. So if you feel that you've had setbacks here with this seven of pentacles, you have to rely on what's inside of you, your heart, your head, your ability to handle these situations. And once you go through a few setbacks, then you become a little more wise and you're a little more evolved and you maybe have 
a reference point that you can access and help. But with strength, there, it's your own personal power. But again, it's the power of gentleness, of compassion, of love in order to influence or in order to, again, I would say, handle or navigate the difficult times that you face. And here with the, the five of wands, we see the boys with their wands and it just looks like a big mess. And so what this, what do we see? We see maybe some disorganization. We see no real leadership and maybe everybody's trying to take charge or maybe everybody's just doing their own thing. It's this lack of working together, this lack of unity in order to uh, either play the game or to come out on top. And in life and in relationships, in relationships, personal relationships and professional relationships, we have, uh, we sometimes have imbalances and sometimes people are, need to be right or need to be on top and really don't work well in a group. And so, you know, this can have an impact in so many different ways. The good news is that this is a minor arcana card. So it's, these things are temporary. This is like the daily annoyances, the arguments, the petty uh, discussions that we have, the heated discussions, conflict. Some cases, healthy competition, but with this five of wands that if we can find a way to reset, if we can find a way to talk things through, to have honest discussions, to say, listen, this dynamic is not working. We're never, we're never going to reach the end goal at the rate that we're going and we have to change something. And so that's, you know, it's just one small way to deal with these kind of situations. For some, it may be removing yourself from the team, from the dynamic. But what we see here is we really see at the heart of this reading is your ability to handle strife, challenges, adversity, obstacles, bumpy moments, self-doubt perhaps. But you are strong enough. You have what it takes. You have to believe it. You have to trust your heart and let your heart lead and um, make the decisions that you trust with respect to the work that you put in, the time, the resources, the energy, the desired outcome. So and in, this is a, to me, it's a reflective spread, a lot of things to think about and to consider. Let's take a look at the numbers. We have uh, seven and eight is 15 and 15 and five is 20, and 20 reduces to two, and two is about relationships. It's about uh, partnerships and balance, cooperating. So it's a, a focus for the day. And now let's choose an oracle card for an affirmation point or something, uh, an additional message to think about. So this says, go outside. You've been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Simple message, but maybe an effective message. And that for those that work inside all day, simply taking a stretch break uh, or a coffee break and getting outside and feeling the sun or the warm air or the cool air, it is, uh, it's a nice refresh. And so I think that we forget how important it is to be outside and to um, have fresh air and to hopefully be in the sun and have uh, the warmth coming down. So friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope you found something helpful here. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. I thank everyone for taking the time to watch. Leave me a comment and like the video. That would be great. And I'll see you tomorrow for another reading. Bye-bye.